everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing very well today so i apologize if you can hear the rain it was thunderstorming so bad earlier um but it's also kind of it definitely is like a vibe isn't it um but this is going to be a shop my stash rotation um and before i get into picking out the new products i did want to share with you just some highlights from my previous shop my stash so firstly um i really really enjoy this foundation from revlon this is the revlon skin caring foundation it's the luminance foundation i do have the shade 117 light beige really really enjoy this one it's very very beautiful on the skin and i wore it quite a bit this rotation also really enjoy of course my benefit hydrating professional did use that quite a bit um my bronzers i really really loved also so i use this a ton this is the elf halo glow beauty wand this is in the shade light medium i use that a lot i also use my flower beauty heat wave luminous bronzer in the shade um, sunrise i use that a lot also um, really enjoyed having my Valentino um, V lighter this is in the shade Rosa this can be used as a highlighter or as a primer and I used it primarily as a primer really really enjoyed that product as well and I think I already put away my bare minerals bronzer but I did have the shade kiss of copper in my rotation and I also really really enjoyed that so let me go ahead and put all of the products back because I also have these products and then um we'll get into the new picks okay so silly me did not press record so i already picked these items i picked my primers my foundation and my concealers so let me just share these with you so i picked for my flower beauty skin smoothie radiance glow primer this is relatively new to me and it's been a while that i've used it i also decided to pull out my essence hello good stuff glow serum primer i think that it's the perfect time to use a product like this also the milk makeup milk makeup hydro grip primer this is a mini and i was saying when i thought i was recording that i feel like this has kind of come with a resurgence lately i feel like more and more people are using this primer again so wanted to just kind of test it out again um, i also pulled for my l'oreal true match foundation i do have the shade in three i was saying that i think this shade should actually work pretty well for me because i am self tanned right now because um, we went to a water park yesterday and so I self tanned before that and so I actually think this would fit me pretty well right now. I also pulled for my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I do wear the shade 1 and 2 Accru. Got that during the 21 Days of Beauty from Ulta and I just want to get more use out of it. And then the two concealers I pulled for are the Makeup Revolution IRL Filter Finish Soft Matte Concealer as well as the Huda Beauty Luminous Matte Concealer. So that is everything I've picked out so far. And so now in here I have my more like tinted moisturizers, lighter coverage foundations. I have my liquid and cream bronzers and I have powder bronzers and then powders over here. So let me make sure that there's nothing in here that I want to use. I do think I wanna go for this. This is my Fenty Beauty Eavesdrop Blurring Skin Tint. I do have the shade three. Let's pull for this one. I like to have something a little bit more lighter coverage. And then for cream or liquid bronzer, um, I definitely wanna grab something from here. Let's go for my Makeup Revolution Cream Bronzer. I haven't used this in a while. I have the shade Light. I love this product, but it's just been some time. So let's pull for that one. Um, and then for Powder Bronzer, I have been wanting to use my L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Bronzer. I do wear the shade 250 Light. So let's reach for that one. And then do I want to bring in any powders? Um, I think I'm good for powders. I can always just go into my collection and reach for them. So for blush, I've actually already picked out the cream blushes that I want to use because I was playing around with my cream blush collection earlier and I have some that I really want to use. So firstly, I'm picking out the Item Beauty 
cream blush in the shade oopsies i know that this is no longer available the brand i think is completely gone um but i have this cream blush and i need to use it so again this is in the shade oopsies very beautiful cream blush also the lys higher standard satin matte cream blush in the shade confidence I do want to give this one a go. I definitely think this is more of a fall shade, but I feel like I never reach for this cream blush and I want to make sure that I still like this. If not, then I will pass it along to someone else. Um, I also pulled for two liquid blushes. So firstly is my Flower Beauty Blush Balm in the shade Cinnamon. I haven't used this in a while. I think it's a really beautiful summer color because it kind of is like that terracotta, almost like sunburny kind of look. And then I pulled for my Pillow Talk, my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wand in the shade, what is this, Pink Pop. So remember loving this, want to use it again. And then I'm hoping all of these products fit. If not, I'll put them back into my collection and then just keep note to use them. I did want to reach for my Persona Blush Multi Stick in the shade Teddy. Absolutely love this color. It's a beautiful kind of like toasty nude color. I think it's going to be perfect for summer. So I um, wanted to pull for that one as well. So those are all of my cream and liquid blush picks. Now I definitely wanna pull for some powders. Okay, so again, when I was going through my blushes earlier, I definitely wanna pull for this one from Alme. It's the Healthy Hue Blush, and I wanna say this shade is nearly nude. This is a very, very beautiful formula. It'll go with so many different eye looks, so I do wanna pull for that one. And then I have this that's fairly new to me and I want to use it some more. This is from House Labs. It's the Bio Radiance Gel Powder Highlighter in the shade Rose Quartz. This is a highlighter, but I put it in the blush collection category because it's definitely more of a blush topper. It's so, so stunning. Wanted to definitely pull for that one. And then I kind of want to go for something a little bit more matte, but just for the sake of space, I think I'm going to leave it where it's at. And then I'll just, you know, during the week go for like I'll reach for something in here because I have a feeling I'm not gonna be able to fit everything. So that's it from here. Okay, so in here I have cream, liquid highlights, as well as powder highlights. So I wanna pull for my Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand and this is in the shade Spotlight. It's just a mini. This is a beautiful liquid highlighter. Really, really enjoy this product. And then let's keep the theme of House Labs. Um, let's pull for, again, the Bio Radiance Gel Powder Highlighter, but this is in the shade Peach Quartz. So let's, let's reach for this one. This will be my powder highlighter pick. Um, and then that's actually going to be everything. Um, I usually don't pick out like lip products or eyeshadow palettes or anything like that um, during these Shop My Stashes because I usually just kind of pull for whatever I'm feeling that day um, because that's actually easier for me to actually get through my collection than pulling for like three or four palettes every two weeks because I'll never get through my eyeshadow palettes that way. Um, and then lip products, kind of the same thing. I usually just go for what I'm feeling. I try to like put my more like spring and summery lip products on the top. And then this drawer here, I have like my high-end picks, my drugstore picks, my Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips back here, and then like some lip balms and stuff like that here. So um, I definitely just kind of pull for what I'm feeling and that kind of works best for me. But if I ever change it up, I'll definitely let you know. But Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, I would love for you to subscribe and be a part of my YouTube channel family here. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will go ahead and see you in my next video. Bye!